Alrighty, hey guys. So today is January 1st, 2021, or as I would probably say, 2K21. Hope I got the year right. Yes, it's been a year and it's already been a day. But anyway, this is technically going to be the first video of this year to you from me. I mean, yesterday I did get my last like grand finale vlogmas vlog up and that was after 12 a.m. and so that's technically today but this is like the official first thing and what it's going to be is a closet clear out. Now mine is going to be a mini closet clear out just because not all my clothes are in my closet. I have a dresser off to this side of you and that includes pajamas, exercise wear, underwear, um, let's see, jeans, pants, so things and stuff like that. So my closet only includes two things. Well, not only because it is a lot, but it's sweaters off to the left. So what you see here and then off to this side. Yeah, off to this side on your side. It's right, right? Um, anyway, that is dresses specifically for Sunday. So they're more modest with short sleeves or long sleeves and they go to the knee, if not below the knee. So that is what I'm going to share and show for today. Um, suitcases and under my bed also the locations for the rest of my clothes. Under the bed, things I still have to go through and probably sell a lot of. And then I have these two old suitcases and in there I have like short sleeves, normal shirts, t-shirts. Most of my t-shirts go on either side of the upper end, I guess, of my closet, if that makes sense. So I did skim and take a little glance at what I have. And first of all, um, well, to explain just really fast, then we'll actually get into the goods. So I won't be showing you all the pieces, obviously. You can't count that high as to how many clothes, like sweaters and dresses I have. But I won't be trying on the things I'm getting rid of. I won't be trying on anything. I might get attached. I'm just going to eyeball it. So I'll scan and decide what I want to get rid of. Then I'll show it to you guys and then it will just go in the pile. And I just came back from a trip with my friend. Well, not like she came back home with me, but I went to see her. Right. And so I collected about 10 to 12 new items and some are pretty big. So I have the biggest here, the sweater from my boo and it's kind of like a sweater coat, like a blanket almost. So that's why it's up there. There's just no room for it. It would take up the space of like five sweaters, if not more. But anyway, so this I thrifted a bit ago and I thought of my friend when I got it and I was like, I can give it to her. But then it just so happened that I had no room and I was packing and I was like, I just don't have room. I don't want to pay the extra $30 for an extra suitcase to go in the baggage claim or the, I don't know. Anyway, so I thought of her and I just texted her earlier today and I was like do you want this and she said it's very cute she said I could sell it she basically said it's cute but you don't have to you know but I want to so it's like this blue but also white color going on it's got some crochet up top it's got like a cow neck with these buttons and it's just very very cute so I thought of her when I saw this wanted to give it to her and now I will the next time I see her so this guy will go off the hanger and I have an extra hanger to use. So that's exciting. So that's for M. And now I'm just going to skim. Sorry for the view. It's a really bad angle. It's just my closet and my room. It's just not ideal. Just the way that I have things organized and set up, but that's okay. The mirror blocks this half, so you definitely won't see where the dresses are. But I promise you there's a lot. So I'll just scan and show. So let's begin. So this right here is just a white open cardigan, like off-white, and it's cute. It was thrifted. It's just I don't wear it that much, and this is like the first thing that I think of when I want to get rid of some of my clothes. Um, it's good, but it's just it's not me. It's kind of plain and boring, and I have another open cardigan that I prefer. So this guy will go over here, and I might do Poshmark. I might do... Goodwill drop off. I might try Play-Dohs and I did sell some things and stuff, but Play-Dohs like five items I believe it was. 
and it added up to be like $15 back, which was very nice. So I'll see what I want to do, and my Play-Dohs, or not Play-Dohs, I don't have like a Play-Dohs account. So my Poshmark is Emily's Wild Roses, if, if you're interested, in case you wanted to know. And I might have these things on here, or on there, I still can't talk, and I'm like 23 years old. Um, anyways, so let's just continue. Um... Now this, I'm indecisive about. I just don't wear it. And if I do, I would have to wear um, like something underneath, like an actual bra, because it's a cold and the material's thin, you know. It's just a pink and white houndstooth pattern. It's funny, I bought it and then I got rid of it and then I found it again. I thrifted it the next time. So I have a picture of me in it, and I'll just hang on to that. <laughs> so I'll pass on this, I think. It will be in the maybe pile, but I'm leaning towards just saying goodbye. So this also, oh, that was Downey's Basics, by the way. The other was American Rag. And then oops, this is Marisa's, the one for my friend. Now this is like a towel material. It's kind of weird. I love the colors. I like black, white, and pink together. It's a beautiful pink. And it's kind of sporty with the stripes and everything. It has a little tie going on. This is Forever 21. I've had it for a long time. It's just, I feel like I'm going to get it dirty. And I don't want clothes that don't feel comfortable that I'm concerned about. Like I don't want it to itch or be annoying or get dirty and this if I have my face on like now the foundation can rub on it and it already has so this is a no so I'm proud of myself two for sure no's one for my friend one in the maybe but I really think I'll get rid of it houndstooth just isn't like a me type of pattern anyway so I don't know um moving on so these things there's like gonna be four in a row like side by side in my closet Look at those hangers, there's five of them now. Alright, so this is American Eagle. This is also thrifted. Forever 21 was the only thing that I bought from the store. Everything else was thrifted. So American Eagle, I love the colors. They're like Easter colors. Like a mauve pink and a pretty purple. Also white, it's just striped. It's very low cut, so it's kind of uncomfortable. And I just don't really like things like that. I would have to layer it, but I think it will look off if I do, you know. And I just, I don't wear it. So it's very cute. It's just, I don't know how to feel about it anymore. So I'll say goodbye to that. This is a lot easier than I thought. Probably because I already like skimmed and sworn. You know? Now, if I don't have to wear a bra, and if I can get away with a bralette, if the item is thick enough or I'm comfortable with that, it's great. And this, I would have to wear an actual bra. It's just so thin. So this is Hippie Rose, and I got it at either Macy's or JCPenney, I forget. I think it was JCPenney, whatever. So it's a pretty light pink, and again, I have a picture of myself in it, so I can still keep it forever. So like the last item, it has little tassels, and it's a hooded sweater, and it has pretty crochet here. It's just, I'm not wearing it. And these flowers, or these things, whatever. <laughs> moving things around. Um, so I'll get rid of that guy. Um, some of these, I'm reminded that I have to wear them. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, I'm already getting into like jackets and now dresses. So this is actually on my Poshmark. I have to hang it up in my closet, but just to show you, and then it will go right back in my closet eventually. But it's thrifted. I got it for like 10 bucks, and it is actually free people. So it's this beautiful all over cream lace, and it has like these tears, and it's just, it's gorgeous. It's just, I'm scared to wear it. I got pictures of myself in it. It's just, I'm so worried it's going to tear, and... It's great for pictures, but, like, I already have those pics, so why would I hang on to something that I'm not going to wear outside of that, if that makes sense. So, it is on my 
Did I say Poshmark? Um, I'll see what to do with it, and let me see what time we're at. Okay, ten minutes. Ten minutes. Okay, back to business. Um, let's see. Um, um, um. Now this is actually kids, and again it was thrifted. It's by Formal Fashion Inc. And it's a size 12, so I know it's kids. It fits like a smaller medium. <clears throat> and it reminds me of the Midnight Sky. It's really cute. I would say it's maybe, but just because I don't wear it anymore. It's kind of like silky on the bottom for the skirt part. And then the top is an interesting neckline. And it's just got these little, like, sparkles in it. So it's very, very cute. It's just, am I wearing it? And that's a no. And I can't keep something just because I love the sky. And this reminds me of it, like space and everything. So I will say no to this guy too. I'm doing a very, very good job. So that's very exciting. And some things and stuff I can put in my suitcase, like the shorter dresses, there's three of them. Well, one could be for church, so two of them. The church goes in here. Um, a polo top that can go in a suitcase as well. Two longer dresses, two sweaters, another long dress I forgot about. Um, let's just keep going. So, doo -doo -doo -doo. it's just hard to know because I'm sentimental and I like stuff. This guy. Um, it just, it fits weird, and I know it's supposed to fit tighter, and it's just a big gray blob, and uh, there is no size on it, but I know it's obviously not my size. It's by Orange Creek. It was thrifted out of Goodwill. It's a pretty heather gray. It's, like, got these lines in it. It's long-sleeved, and it's got these pockets here, and it's very soft and very comfortable. It's just, I've, I would rather, I prefer to wear a different dress, one that, since my makeup is taking no, um, one that I would feel more confident in, and I just don't feel very attractive in this. I do like the higher neck. It's just, I've only worn it like twice, honestly. So, I think I'm doing pretty good. Em, if you're here, if you ever watch this, I bet you are, like, applauding by now, because I'm doing freaking fucking good. But anyway, okay. Um, and then after this, I'll just go through it one more time. I also have church skirts in here which go to the knee and below the knee. Some dresses I do have just for pictures, um, which might be weird. But, okay, now I'm going to, like, work backwards, so I'll, like, I'll meet you back here. So this guy, I have another sweater I like more. I just feel like it fits weird. It's a beautiful cardigan with this beautiful blue embroidery. embroidery. I love embroidery. It's just I have another similar sweater that's even prettier. Like it has big flowers and a big butterfly on it. And there's hair on here, so it's a sign that it's time to let it go. No, just kidding. Um, if it's open, it will look weird. And if it's closed, and I think it needs to be, it just looks really frumpy and off. And I like oversized. But I just think this is a bit much. So let's get rid of that guy. Okay. And I missed this when I was going through it. I do like the concept. This is from Sanders. By the way, this was thrifted. And it is by Alfred. Dunner, D-U-N-N-E-R. Now this is from Santa. It's an online kawaii clothing site. And it's like this white Peter Pan collar top. And over top you have this pink vest. It's knit. It's just, it's not good quality. It's very, very cute. I will probably take pictures in it and then I'll get rid of it. It's just, and I'll have to keep it on the hanger because it like, it like slips and slides all over the place if you have it loose on its own. 
So it's adorable. It's just, I was going to sell it, then I took it off my Poshmark, and I, I might put it back on. It's just, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. And I do like this little, like, plaid going on here. It's just, I don't know. It's me, but it's, the quality really gets me. I mean, I'm not for, I'm not all about, like, has to be expensive, has to be perfect, like, a bunch of Abercrombie, you know, like, I'm not going to spend that much, and I don't need the best quality. Abercrombie's great, don't get me wrong. It's just, like, I like thrifting, I like cheaper, but if it feels so cheap, it's like, why did I buy it? I don't like it, you know? Okay. Oh, and I do have a few things in my laundry hamper that I have to wash after my trip. They're like jeans and one sweater and the rest is like underwear and stuff. And then hanging up to dry, I have my pink cardigan, which I like more than the first thing I showed you, the cream cardigan. So I'll, I'll just use the pink instead. And then I also have some things and stuff up there like a shirt and another sweater. So those things I for sure know I'm going to keep. I checked those out and I'm happy with them. Um... Yeah, so that was basically it. I'm very happy with what happened. Um, they were so tight before. They still are, obviously. It's just like hanger after hair, just like scrunched up against each other. Here I have just a few bags. My unicorn onesie, of course. And I just have some things that my grandma sewed for me. My baptism dress. Um, like a craftsy denim thing. Like with pa pa can't talk patches. Um and like a Halloween thing. So those things I'm sentimental about, so those I will keep. Um, T-shirts I've already peeked at and gone through, so that was a bit ago. Um, in here I just have things and stuff, so like electronics and scarves, which I'm content with. So that was basically it. I know it was many. Let's count these things up. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, and eleven. So I'm very proud of myself. I'll show you this big ass pile. Let me just close this guy. Now I can wash and hang up the new items. So let me show you, and I have all these new hangers. So this is quite the pile. So these things, these can go in a suitcase, hung up and hung up. So I'm very happy with the outcome. Sniffle, sniffle and nose itch. Um, very happy with it. So feeling pretty good and we are still recording. Sorry, did I make you dizzy? Anyway. Um, I think it's really good. I'm feeling good. I think it's a good way to start the new year. The new year. I was going to say just year or new year, and I just said that instead. But yeah, so I've seen a lot of these closet clearouts recently, kind of like a trend, because like quarantine made me do it, you know, or like COVID, you know, or and or it's the new year, so I want to have a refresh, a restart, a cleanse. So I'm glad that I did that. It was impulsive. It wasn't really planned. But there will be more to come. I'll go through things and stuff later. I don't know when. But obviously, hopefully on the soon side. And I'll update you. And I'll make that um, that next closet clear out when I do. So, yeah.